at the start of the year, I made a tier list of how I thought everyone would finish and my predictions of where I think all the Bundesliga teams would finish in this year's Bundesliga season. Let's look back at where I ranked everyone and see how badly I messed up or how well I did. So today should be a very interesting one, looking at my old season predictions uh, at the start of the season. So definitely some right off the bat, some definitely some misses, and definitely um, some things I got really right. So we're going to start right off the bottom. All right, here we have the relegated teams. So in the, my predictions were Greuther Firth, BFL, Bochum, and FC Augsburg. So comparing this to what actually happened, we did have Greuther Firth relegated, which I had in 18th, which is spot on. Um, and then the other relegated team was Armenia Bellafield. So I didn't have Armenia Bellafield in this category. I had in the next one, but just interesting. I said there'd be three teams relegated this year, which is a bit of a bolder pick. Um, and I was only right for one. So whatever, fair play. But going into the next category, the teams I had fighting for relegation, I had Armenia Bellafield, Hertha Berlin, and FC Kulm. And obviously, Armenia Bellafield was a decent pick. I mean, I had them relegated as the second team in the 17th spot. Um, so I had, I had obviously, Armenia Bellafield fighting for relegation, but I did have them surviving. Unfortunately, they did not survive. They came 17th out of 28 points. Um, they were close, but I mean, five points... Uh, they're pretty much going to get relegated really unless they had a spectacular end of the season. And Hertha Berlin did much better at the end. And then Hertha Berlin had them fight for, fighting for relegation, which was true, of course. They just barely survived relegation. Coming back in that Hamburg tie in the second leg at Hamburg to impressively beat Hamburg. I really wanted Hamburg to get promoted. Obviously, that's not what happened. And then maybe one of my worst picks here, I have Köln. Um, I had them in the fighting for relegation spot as the actual one of the better teams in the relegation fight, um, but obviously they came in the Europa Conference League position in 7th, so <laughs> I've relapsed now, that is m one of my worst picks in this whole thing, apart from that I think for my relegation teams, I wasn't that far off, um, I thought Augsburg got more points than they deserved, um, yeah, so moving on to my mediocre teams, I had Hoffenheim and Stuttgart in the mediocre category, and looking here we had Hoffenheim that finished in ninth. so definitely did better than I thought. Although, to be fair, if they had four less points, they be, would be in 13th, um, pretty much where I stand. So, you could say I was pretty much four points off from where they should be. Um, and obviously, they did have a good little run there, but they did pretty much depreciate that in the season. It looks like they could get Europa League um, and maybe even something better. Um, it, made, it looks like they could get Europa League at the end of the season, but obviously, they finished with 46 points. Did not win a single of the last five games. Lost all their last three games. So, I don't think Hoffenheim will do as well next season. Um, so I really do think they are going to be a mediocre team again next year. Um, and then Stuttgart, I think, did a little bit worse than I expected. I had them uh, in the mediocre spot, so probably around the, like the 12th, 13th mark. They came in 15th with only 33 points. And they almost, almost, almost were in that relegation battle against Hansburg, which could have went either way, really. Hansburg is a really good team. And then in the midfield position, it gets interesting. Uh, we have Mainz, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and Eintracht Frankfurt. So at this point, we're pretty much into like the 8th to 10th best teams here. Um, so I think this is what I was very, very accurate here. Honestly, we had Mines that came in eighth. I had them in the best of this category with 46 points. We had Gladback that came you know, in 10th after a better second half of the season. Obviously, they got off on the first half, um, except for whenever they played Bayern for whatever reason, um, as usual. And we had Frankfurt that came in 11th. Um, so they didn't finish off the season particularly well either. So honestly, pretty spot on off mid-table. I had Mines, um, Gladback, and Frankfurt, and they came 8th, 10th, and 11th. So... Pretty spot on there. Give myself a little pat on the back. Basically, my 6th and 7th place teams, I had Union Berlin and Freiburg. They actually came 5th and 6th, so another good prediction by myself. I'll pat myself on the back. Um, so Union Berlin had 57 points. Freiburg had 55. It would have been awesome to see Freiburg in the Champions League, but obviously, I think Union Berlin and Freiburg both have to be absolutely, you know, just <laughs> couldn't be any happier, really, with what they got, both in the Europa League next season. Um, so it'll be interesting. I don't think they're going to win that Europa League. Um, it's going to be pretty hard next season. I don't think these are the best teams. I think there definitely are some better teams in the Bundesliga that could be in that spot. Um, but a bit of an odd year in the Bundesliga last year. And then in my Champions League hopeful position, I had Leipzig and Leverkusen. Basically, I had these two teams fighting for that fourth spot. Um, that's not really how it went down. Uh, I was just to find out because Leverkusen came third, got in the Champions League, and Leipzig came fourth, got in the Champions League. So I knew they both would be Champions League competing teams. But we're going now into my biggest mistake of my predictions, and that was predicting Wolfsburg to come third. 
in this year's title race, and I was very, very, very wrong. Um, they came 12th, so not even, you know, you could call that a mid-table team. Uh, you could definitely call that a lower side, but wow, what a bad year. I mean, Wolfsburg were in the Champions League this season, um, so just shocking to see how poorly they did. Obviously, I overestimated how good their defense was. Uh, I still think they do have a decent defense, but I don't know what the problem is. They conceded 54 goals, only scored 43, um, so I think definitely a lack of goal scoring was their major problem here. Um, so they're definitely going to need to make some settings in this offseason to get back where they want to be. Um, they've had some great players in the past, obviously Draxler, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. So it will be interesting to see what they can do. I thought maybe they'd be building on something um, last year, maybe making the Champions League, but they really didn't make the moves they needed to build up on that team. After a team that just clinched the Champions League, you would have expected much better signings from them. They didn't really do anything to improve in my mind. And then obviously the one and two teams uh, were spot on. We had Dortmund in second and Bayern Munich in first. So that pretty much ends it. I think, honestly, in summary, I think it did a pretty good job. I mean, the relegation and relegated teams were pretty spot on, except for, obviously, the teams that got relegated. And then the Champions League hopeful, I had everyone right there. And honestly, everyone was pretty much just shifted down one, or sorry, shifted up. If you put Wolfsburg where they should be in that mediocre spot, um, everyone pretty much lands exactly where they should be. So, obviously a bit embarrassing how badly I butchered the Wolfsburg's prediction, but honestly, apart from that, uh, pretty interesting. So, I think this is fun to look at, like, how good slash how bad I did. Uh, obviously, it's not an easy thing to do, but I definitely want to do it next season. Uh, maybe I'll do, like, a goal scores prediction as well, because I do enjoy these, and I think looking back at this is a lot of fun as well. So, you know, I hopefully I am still a Bundesliga expert, um, and I'm honestly... At the end of the day, I think I did a decent job. So I'd like to see everybody else make a prediction next year when I do post a video for my predictions next season. Hope you did enjoy this video. Hope you found it a bit entertaining. It's a bit different than usual. But I'm going to have much more, you know, awards and end of season stuff coming up soon. So make sure to keep in check for those. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Hope you see you on the next one. Until then, Mia Samia.